I had a I had a proper job for 16 years at a uh, photographic agency mm. Mm, and did very little in music. Uh, oh, apart from that, I've been with Peter after a while. But um, I mean, you, you, that that was that was okay actually. Sure, it was all right. you enjoyed it. It was a piece of reality, perhaps after the. Yes, and it wasn't surrealism. And it wasn't yeah, about me. Uh, I was a backroom boy. The work wasn't about me, really. I, I was kind of assisting other people. Uh, and I was making a bit of money, which I, I wasn't doing in, in music at that time. So that made life a little easier, too. So, um, touring, how do you like it? Andre Rublov. Uh, oh, it's better this time. Than? That time. Why is it better? Um... Because not, not so much is at stake. You know, back then that was, that was everything we did. Uh, and you survived on it for your living. And you slight, survived precariously on it. Um, and we also, I mean, compared with what a lot of bands do, we didn't, we didn't really tour that much, but it felt like it to me. And it felt like too much to me. Whereas... No, I'll just do it occasionally. That's all right. It's really all right. <laughs> and you're happy with the new album? Yeah, I'm very happy with the new album. You should put it out if you weren't, would you? Uh, probably not. It has the, to me, it has the expanse and span that I like a, I like a magazine album to have. Uh, and in particular, the fir- what I think of as the first side. Because uh, I... I kind of think an, uh, an album on a CD where all the, you know, the tracks are in one after the other, that's, that's, quite a, um, that's quite a period of time to just have a track and a space and a track and a space. Whereas, um, kind of 20 minutes, that was all right. And then you had a definite break, like act two, turn it over, and there's another. So, so I kind of think of it as, act, as uh, side one and side two. So particularly side one, the first five tracks. Well, it is available, if I'm right, I believe it's available in 80 GSM, whatever, uh, vinyl, isn't it? So you, you can actually flip it. Uh, yes, 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 there is a vinyl. It, it does yeah. work in that way. There is a vinyl version. What about the album in 2011? Do you think it still has any currency? Um, I, I still, th- I mean, I still think creatively there's something to be said for hearing songs in the context of other songs. Um, you know, the, the the whole thing becomes a slightly bigger proposition. Um, so as I say, I you know, I like the fact that there's a, a um, yes the. There's a number of vistas, there's a lot of moods, there's a lot of dynamics, there's a lot of change. I mean, you'd have to write a, an almost a symphonic song to try and have that same effect. Sure. You know, one that's slowed up, to yeah. did all of this, and that would sound awfully not what you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> awfully symphonic, probably. Hmm. Uh, so it, yeah, I do. I, I kind of think I, I I think there still is a place, although I'm equally guilty of cherry picking as anybody else, really. Uh, and do you think it's consistent within the magazine canon? I think it, uh, I, I think it's very consistent with the first three albums, and I think the uh, for the fourth album, <clears throat> Magic Murder and the Weather, appears as a as a slight aberration, hopefully still a pleasing one. But uh, we kind of went somewhere else a bit with that one. Sure, sure. And that was after John McGeoch left. left. Yeah. We've and that was the that was the essential difficulty. Sure. <laughs> getting the uh, getting the right kind of guitarist for the album. Sure. That, that proved very diff- rather difficult at that time, when I didn't have a huge amount of willpower anymore. Another album? Will there be another magazine? Oh. You talked about it? When people say that, I say, stop and smell the flowers. 
Took 30 years. Yes. Uh, for that to appear, so 